my family's always been really important, and, and I think that comes from my mom more than anyone. Um, my mom is one of those people that always says she was meant to be a mom. She says the same thing about her dad, who my granddad that I mentioned before worked in the steel mills. I, I never had the chance to meet him. He died of cancer when my mom was 20. Um, but he, I always like to think, like, because I really, I, you know, I'm into Jack Kerouac and those guys, and he's, you know, always had, he sounds like a very, like, he sang Woody Guthrie songs, and, and he loved folk music, and, um, you know, loved Halloween and holidays, and, and a lot of that I know through my mom, who tells the best stories. She just has these great stories about what it was like to be a kid, and, like, growing up in the 1950s and into the 60s, and, and I mean, she was one of six that lived in a house that her dad built with his own hands, and she always used to say they, they never had any money, like, they were always poor, but her dad was always the one that took all of the, all of the neighborhood kids in a car to go get them ice cream, like, even though they were the poorest family on the block. And I think that was sort of a culture my mom continued. Like, my dad's a social worker, my mom's a nurse, so we never had a lot of money, but we were always the house that everybody loved to come to. We were like the central, kind of like we had bonfires all the time, Luke and I had birthday parties. We were the place where you could get away with watching our movies and eating candy um, when your parents wouldn't let you because you know, it might not have been the best thing for you, but people people loved being there. And so, yeah, it started like we were always... My mom laughs at me now because she tells me I should hang a shingle outside on the, on the, on the house because that's apparently what it used to say when you were like the inn or you were taking in whoever off the street. Um, and that's sort of how I've always been, but I think it started... I think it started with my grandma and, and then my mom because at my grandma's house... So she lived right down the hill from us. We live in a house like right right near the house that like my granddad built, so family has always been important. Um, and she's always taking in family. Somebody that's, you know, hard up, they lost their job, or the, the car broke down, or whoever needs something, grandma's there. And it was always everybody's welcome, and my parents always had an attitude about, you know, very judgment-free zone, always just helping people. And I think that's sort of something I picked up from them, and. I mean, I remember in college, my freshman year, we we put six name tags on the door because of girls who were unhappy with their roommates or, and, you know, I wasn't an RA yet, but I might as well have been because I know it was me and Rosie lived together, but Donna and her roommate didn't get along, so Donna was in my room. There was permanently an air mattress blown up, and so it was sort of like the, the next phase of, like, what home had been where, you know, all my friends were always there. Like, when they were having a bad time, they slept on my couch. Now it was the dorm room, and then as I became an RA, it was sort of like, okay, everybody, I, now I have a floor, and since I moved to Boston, I have the apartment. And anytime I can put people up, I mean, I do it. <laughs> and, I, and I think, as much as my mom makes fun of me for it, I think it's something I learned from the way I grew up.